One of the worst ways of doing data structures and algorithm is by reading books like this from front to back and assuming that you can hold your enthusiasm while completing this 500 pages long book. I'm going to tell you five different ways which can really help you learning DSA faster. The common mistake people make while doing DSA is they think DSA is a test of intelligence. DSA is not about intelligence. It is about pattern and practice. Think of solving DSA like solving Rubik's Cube. If you give me Rubik's Cube, I would probably take a day or two to solve it. Maybe I would never be able to do it. But did you know the fastest world record of doing or solving a Rubik's Cube is 3.1 seconds? How can someone solve this in such a short period of time? Well, by understanding patterns and practice. Doing questions by pattern first will help you figure out solution faster because if you can guess the pattern, you can come up with solution faster. In an interview, you won't have all day to come up with the solution. You may have like 30 to 40 minutes and if you can't do that in a normal setting, how will you do that in an interview? So second suggestion is around timing. If you can't do that in 30 minutes, just look for the solution and try to understand how they come up with that and try to do at least one question every day. If you can't do that in 30 minutes, just look the solution and try to understand how they come up with that and try to do at least one question every day. 30 minutes to do the question if you can't solve it and 30 minutes to understand the solution. And even if you are able to solve it, you should see the other solutions as well, just for your understanding. Now, some prefer to do DSA in Java or some prefer to do in Python or any other language. Would that matter? 99% of time, it doesn't. It doesn't matter which language you choose to do DSA. Pick language you are most comfortable in. DSA is language agnostic and companies usually don't have strict criteria and you will not get more marks or more points if you choose to do in Java or Python. They don't care about anything. All they care about is solution. If you don't know, I'm sending one front-end coding challenge every week. So please subscribe to my newsletter so that I can send you those questions direct to your inbox. So check the link in my description. If you have time, you can go to MIT's open course regarding DSA. It is very comprehensive. So I would recommend if you just have one or two months to do DSA. But if you have like six months or one year, I would highly, highly recommend to do that course before you try to do anything. And the last point is around study hacks. If you want to retain information more effectively, I would recommend using some sort of techniques. You can do flashcards where you made questions and you can write down which technique to use to solve that question. This way you can cover like 50 to 100 questions each day. You don't have to solve those questions. You just have to guess like which algorithm would be best to solve this question. DSA is about speed and precision. There's just no way you can keep all that algorithm in your memory for too long. So I would suggest give it a solid three to four months, start with easy questions, master those first, and make a daily habit or ritual around it. DSA is a memory intense exercise. So I would suggest doing it first thing in the morning. Get it done first thing in the day so you can move to other tasks. Give it like solid one hour each day, and then you will see the improvement in your ability to solve those questions. Again, it is not a test of intelligence. The essay isn't everything. It is a part of getting a job like building projects or networking. Don't give it more or less attention than it deserves. As I told you in my other videos as well, you are a package. Build all your muscles equally. And I think this way of learning is more enjoyable. You get to do so many things and in the future, it will benefit you in choosing your long-term path.